But Dave, we start with someone that we've been anticipating uh, hearing more from, Tierra Wack, who uh, I think has been <laughs> probably the person we've wanted, uh, an artist we've wanted to hear more from for the last going on three years now after Wack World. Uh, you know, I, I guess I'll label it an uh, experimental rap album just because of the structure of it. Not And obviously, Tierra Wack, I think, has gained a reputation for being an out of the box rapper, not, not traditional in many senses. Uh, but since then we've only gotten, you know, a few singles, few features here and there, but no real projects until rap came out this past week, a uh, three song EP. And I don't know how I feel about this. It will, I, mean, I guess like what was just like your initial response seeing that the EP dropped listening to it and where are you at now with it yeah i should note the uh whack world tier wax whack world actually was 2018 so it's getting closer to four years since that came out Damn. but she's been loosely i guess feeding the streets with a number of freestyles and one-off singles since then and this rap ep kind of reminded me of a lot of those songs you know nothing catches your eye the way the construction of whack world did and when i finished the rap ep i was like all right that that's okay nice to see that she packaged something up as an official release again but still kind of leaves me wanting more then real realizing later today she announced a forthcoming ep called pop question mark as a companion piece who knows if there's more to come as well but clearly there's some intentionality behind a lot of this that we didn't quite get as much with those other loose songs, right? I feel like if anything, like apart from that one loose song, Only Child, which I do like a, quite a bit, yeah. the biggest rap moment for her, I think, recently was that feature on Little Boat 3, Lil Yachty's song, mm. uh, on her song with, uh, I believe that was what, a song with Rocky and Tyler, I think. That was a kind of out of nowhere. She's had some cool features, but yeah, I mean, these three songs, I think they're they're fine. I think if you run through the track listing, they get kind of get better as you go. These three songs, Stand Up, Megan Good, and Millions. I think I like Millions the most. Yeah, but I do too. It, it's, you know, it's it's just, just some music from her, to be honest. Yeah, you know, when you think about Whack World, what she was rapping about, the way she was going about it, the the concept just is so unique and out there and i think hearing something that is more more traditional these songs are not just a minute long they're you know two two minutes 30 seconds about three minutes each um and nothing really popped off to me about these that said like wow this is a special track from tear whack and i think maybe in some ways our expectations of her being uh someone who's like so disarming and outside the box make us grade her on a different curve than other people because mm. our, we're looking for her to do things that we haven't heard or that kind of subvert our expectations all the time. I, I don't think the tracks are necessarily bad, but they also didn't really have anything that made me say like, oh, I'm going to go back and play millions again. You right. know, um, I do think some of the production looks, uh, sounds cool. Like the, the percussion on uh, stand up right from the beginning is like kind of distorted and sounds really awesome i thought i thought the rapping on megan good probably was maybe some of my favorite millions i think sounded the best just as a as a whole but you know overall just uh wanted a little bit more i'm glad we're gonna get more of this upcoming week but <laughs> where do you like see her like fitting in in like the rap world right now like, yeah i mean she's still signed the interscope this is an interscope release and in the interim, alongside all these loose songs and occasional guest spots, she's had some unique partnerships with, I believe, uh, Adult Swim and Adobe and stuff. So she's definitely doing what she wants to do and is not feeling that pressure that a lot of modern artists, especially modern, modern rap artists, feel to release very frequently. So that's all good. You can def de de you definitely hope that, that that's on purpose, right? So I like to see where the rest of this rollout goes. Perhaps there's something beyond the pop EP. Remember uh, Kevin Abstracts 
Arizona baby rollout started off as a series of EPs. The next thing you know, it's just a solo album. And, you know, maybe yeah. that's where we're headed. Uh, but yeah, I mean, she's, she's not super active. So it's weird to kind of place her, right? You know, she clearly has a lot of respect from her Philly peers and especially Meek Mill, who had a large part in her coming up. But, and I guess that, that feature with Yachty and, and also the feature with Willow Smith recently, like, that counts for something i guess but yeah she's definitely keeping her her cards close to her vest which is unique for a lot of rappers especially ones that we are consider ascendant so yeah TV, a lot of tbd yeah. i guess it's funny because I, I i'd like to like almost say like she's outside of the box but she's really just creating her own box it seems like she's creating her own lane and doing just whatever feels right for her unique interests so definitely looking forward to hearing more we'll be talking about pop next week 